Hello, friends. Today, we'll learn about vertebrate and invertebrate animals. Hmm. Vertebrates are animals that have a special column or backbone. There are about 62,000 species that belong to this group. Some characteristics of vertebrate animals include they have muscles and skeletons. They also have an endoskeleton. All vertebrates have some or all of these systems. Skeletal system, muscular system, excretory system, nervous system, and immune system. Whoa! Let's see some of the vertebrate animals. Reptiles. They are cold-blooded animals, meaning their body temperature changes along with the external temperature. Wow! Reptiles lay eggs, and their skin is usually covered with dry and hard scales. This species include alligators, turtles, crocodiles, snakes, and lizards. Fish. They have gills that allow them to breathe underwater. For examples of fish include the white shark, this large swordfish, oh, and this venomous marine fish, lionfish. Birds. They have wings and they lay eggs. Most of the birds can fly. Some examples of bird species include the eagle, this flamingo with slender legs, this medium-sized diurnal bird hawk, ah, this large flightless bird, ostrich. Mammals. They're warm-blooded animals, meaning they maintain a constant body temperature. They nurse their young with milk and have fur or hair. Some examples of mammals include humans, this aquatic mammal, dolphin, these tall giraffes, and lovely horses. Amphibians. Amphibians are cold-blooded animals. Some examples are frogs, tiny toads, and these newts. Now let's learn about the invertebrate animals. Invertebrates don't have a backbone, but they make up about 95% of all animal species. Mm, invertebrates have four common characteristics. They don't have a backbone. They reproduce by two reproductive cells. They are multicellular. They have no cell walls. Some invertebrate animals are, ah, these eight-legged arthropods, spiders, insects, worms, these star-shaped echinoderms, sea stars or starfish, snails, crabs, and these lobsters with hard shells. Now, you know a lot about vertebrate and invertebrate animals. Please drop a like. Leave a comment, share the videos, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.